Cataract is one of the leading causes of blindness in India, accounting for around half of the treatable blindness in the country. Cataract is treated through surgery and artificial lens implantation. While the surgical procedure and technology has evolved over the past decades and has reached a great level of maturity, reliability and safety, accessibility remains a huge barrier towards treating cataracts, especially in rural India. Two leading institutions in the country, Shankaranetralaya, a premier ophthalmology institution, and Indian Institute of Technology of Madras, a premier engineering and technology institution, joined hands in developing a solution to solve the problem of accessibility of cataract surgeries. Performing a cataract surgery involves many, many departments. You saw a sterilization area, area where patient is anesthetized, area where patient is monitored, area where instruments are packed, area where instruments are cleaned, this area where all the instruments are being kept in a manner where surgeon is comfortable operating it. Can you think of integrating so many different departments which perform so many different tasks into a space which is very smaller, much smaller than this and into a space which would go to every nook and corner of the country to perform a high quality cataract surgery, a cataract surgery of a quality which I perform here sitting in a tertiary care center. That is a challenge. To tackle a complex problem of this nature that has requirements and constraints in multiple dimensions, we need expertise in wide range of technical areas such as mechanical structures, electrical and electronic systems, sensors, instrumentation, automobile engineering and system integration to put all these components together to create a smoothly running engineering system. After several design exercises to meet all the requirements, the team finalized the design of the mobile unit to a set of two normal vehicles instead of a large vehicle. This allows the mobile unit to travel through narrow roads and access remote areas. After the design, it was time for building the vehicles. The buses were built as per the design drawings at Irizar TVS Private Limited in Pudukkote, around 400 kilometers from Chennai. After installation and testing of various subsystems for power, air and water, the vehicles were transported to Chennai. The mobile unit consists of two vehicles, namely the preparatory vehicle that contains patient preparation setup, surgeon's changing room and the surgery vehicle that houses an operating theatre and a sterilization chamber. These two vehicles travel independently and are connected on site through a retractable vestibule. Translational research and development of this kind that has an immediate significant impact on the lives of the people is one of the many objectives of IIT Madras. IIT Madras then transferred the mobile surgical unit to Shankaranetralaya under an MOU for conducting the clinical phase of the project. The clinical phase in the field began at Pernambat in Velur district, around 200 kilometers from Chennai. The two vehicles of mobile eye surgical unit and clinical team travelled from Chennai to the site through various terrains. Once the unit reaches the site, or any site, the vehicles are parked parallel and the vestibule stored in the preparatory vehicle is manually mated with the surgery vehicle. The vestibule serves as a passage for movement of people and equipment during the duration of the camp. Each vehicle is supported by four hydraulic jacks to provide stability and a flat surface inside the vehicles during surgery. The subsystems of the mobile surgical unit are then put into action. The diesel generator supplies power to all electrical equipment of the mobile unit. The air handling unit supplies air that is passed through a three-stage filtration unit at the right temperature and humidity. The reverse osmosis unit takes in locally available water and converts it into clean water for cleaning and sterilization purposes. 
The OT vehicle, also known as surgery vehicle, is thoroughly cleaned and disinfected so that surgeries can start. The sterility of the vehicle is checked using a particle counter and a swab culture test. If and only if the sterile condition is met, the cleaning cycle stops. Before scheduling them for surgery, several tests are performed to evaluate patient's condition. A medical record is created for each patient with all relevant information. Before the surgery, the patient is prepared with surgery clothes and given medication in the form of eye drops. The patient is given local anesthesia and monitored before the surgery. After ensuring that the local anesthesia takes its effect, the patient is led to the operation theatre in the surgery vehicle through the interconnecting vestibule. Meanwhile, the operation theatre is set up with necessary surgical instruments and equipment. The surgeon prepares for the surgery by scrubbing, followed by a new set of surgical wear. The cataract surgery is typically a 10 to 15 minute procedure where the surgeon accesses the anterior segment of the eye through an incision and removes the natural lens in the eye that has become opaque and puts in place an artificial intraocular lens. From safety and quality point of view, a surgery conducted in the mobile eye surgical unit is of same standards as the one conducted in a surgery facility in a top quality eye hospital. Operating in this mobile unit was very comfortable as we operate in any other operation theatre in Shankaranitralaya. Therefore, this technology naturally widens the access to cataract surgeries to rural patients who are otherwise unable to access such facilities for various reasons. Uh, we have done all types of cataract surgeries like extra capsular, cataract extraction, phaco emulsification and small incision cataract surgery. After the surgery, the patient is led out of the operation theatre to rest for a while before leaving for home the very same day. And our post-operative results were identical to our results in Netral. The patient's eyes are examined on the next day of surgery, followed by a set of subsequent visits before they are issued glasses. This multi-institutional, multidisciplinary project shows what can be achieved by putting our heads and pulling our resources together. I compliment Shankar Netralaya for walking the extra distance to overcome the many hurdles that came in the way of making this project a success. Such projects which aims at delivery of healthcare to the rural poor, making available a good quality medical services should be encouraged and should uh, be made available throughout the country. This pilot project has successfully completed 486 surgeries demonstrating feasibility and viability of such mobile eye surgical units. Given the large unmet need for cataract surgeries in rural India, where majority of the population lives, technology and medicine have acted in synergy to touch and heal the lives of several patients awaiting their day of vision. After successfully completing its task, the mobile eye surgical unit now heads to its next destination.